motion, just zoom. Yeah, they do, no. Don't worry about the video. No. one because of the arm. Cheers mate! Yeah. <laughs> Salt in the rain. Well, that was a lovely fish, uh, 39.13. If I'd have weighed the lead as well, I'd have had a 40, but <laughs> they weigh what they weigh. Uh, I don't really care about it, it's found some things, it's just lovely, lovely fish. Um, it's a fish that's been caught before, it's put some weight on, so no doubt that'll be a 40 next time it's out. Uh, fell for Magnum White Bait again, been really kind to me this last few weeks. Uh, consecutive trips, I've had a 36, then a 37 the next trip, and a 39 this trip, so it's going really, really well. Only a couple of weeks of the season left. Nice to have had that one before the end. Uh, certainly a nice fish to end on if I don't catch any more, but uh, fingers crossed still. Weather's warmed up no end now. It was quite cold when I had that fish. I'd had a few layers on and uh, ended up stripping them off when I caught the fish. You know what it's like. Played it for a long while. Never had a fish take so much line off of me. Not a carp anyway. It just went and went and went. Incredible fight. It's uh, deserved of a big fish. Sometimes it can be a little bit of an anticlimax to the fights from the fish, but that one it just went so well. Really, really pleased with that. Uh, also pleased with the rods, the IS here VRs, the 12 foot ones. I was using the 13 foot IS hibs, but uh, decided to give the ERs a, a go. Much lighter rods and, and get them moving a bit quicker with smaller leads as well. We're limited with a 3 ounce lead limit here, so they just seem the right tools for the job. The old rattly reels on them, got my old SS3000s, had those since they came out, over 20 years old now they are. Caught loads of fish over the years, but I've just grown attached to those, absolutely love them. Seems to wind a few people up because they're a little bit rattly and noisy, but uh, it doesn't bother me and it's me using them, so I'll keep using them still. Only a couple of weeks of the season left. I'm going to try and get back again for another session. Like I say, it's warmed up lovely now. Quite strange though, there have been very few fish shown since I had the fish. Um, they were shown quite big on the bait just before I had the take. I'd lost a big fish just before it. Uh, they had a hook pull on it which has been unusual for me recently. I've been most of the ones I've ought to have landed. But uh, touch wood they carry on landing a few. There was no way the hook was going to come out of that one I just had. It was really deep, I had to get the forceps to it. And it was in a good about three centimetres or so inside the mouth. Magnum white pop up, fished at range just off of the baited patch. Uh, fish were showing on the bait, but I didn't actually get a take on the on the bait. It was on a bait on the side of it, which again is often the case, and often the bigger fish on the edge of the bait. So uh, 
nice to have had another one. And, uh, hopefully, I can catch another one before the end of the season. If I don't, I don't care. I've had a great end of the season anyway. Three up thirties. I thought 34-14 as well, chucked into that, and a couple of really nice scalies. So it's been a good end to the season. It's not fishing very well at all. There's been, I think, 17, 18 anglers on this weekend, and only two of us have caught fish. So it's been hard work. But the rods are doing what they're supposed to do, and the bait's doing what it's supposed to do. And fortunately, I'm managing to get onto swims where the fish are visiting. I'm fishing different swims each time, so I'm quite proud of that rather than just keep hogging the same swim all the time. I've not been able to fish the same swims anyway, I've had slotting where I can slot in, and uh, fortunately they've been the right ones. Anyway, catch up with you next time. See ya.